It's caucus chaos in Congress, but was there a deal on the table to save Kevin McCarthy? You're going to about to hear one that was on the table for the first time. Let's bring in the co-chair of the Problem Solvers Caucus, Pennsylvania Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick. Congressman, as things were ticking down and the vote was about to happen, what was happening behind the scenes with the Problem Solvers? Hey, good morning, Brian. Um, well, this all happened so quick. Uh, a deal was pulled together on Friday, which in many ways was consistent with the Problem Solvers Caucus framework. Uh, we don't believe in government shutdowns. We um, issued a framework, endorsed a bill, uh, and ultimately there was a House bill to avert a shutdown that was put on the floor. Uh, Speaker McCarthy pulled a rabbit out of his hat. He saved our country from a shutdown. The Senate stood down and took up the House bill. And we were under the assumption, the logical assumption, that that kind of behavior would be rewarded particularly from our colleagues across the aisle. Uh, and then fast forward three days later, this all happened so quick, the motion of AK gets put on the floor, and we went to our colleagues and said, can you at least buy us some time, 48 hours? We can't rewrite a 300-page rules package to make the House work more in a bipartisan manner in eight hours. It's impossible. So our request was, can you vote to table it just this one time? Because uh, the, 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 my colleague who brought this motion was not going to stop the first time. Uh, he was prepared to go multiple times every single week if necessary. Matt Gates. Yes. So we said to our colleagues, can you vote present on the motion to table? Not even to table it, not even to not vacate, but just to vote present on the, on the motion to table. And when you say colleagues, just so people know that aren't in Congress, you mean Democrats. And Josh Gottheimer, I do. for I do. example. Okay, go ahead. So that's all we were asking for was some time, Brian. And that's why there are so many Republicans in our group that are very, very upset, and add me to that list. So we're going to get together next week. Uh, this is a member-driven group, and we're going to decide as a group, as a family, to figure out how to proceed. So you might end the Problem Solvers Caucus, because when you needed them most, <clears throat> they collapsed under the pressure from Hakeem Jeffries. I don't think the group's going to end, Brian. I mean, I'm going to leave that to the members. There always needs to be some forum where Democrats and Republicans talk, particularly in, in close margins in divided chambers. Um, you need some forum, um, but I would say that, you know, the members are going to decide what that's going to look like going forward. So, Congressman, just to be clear, there was a deal working behind the scenes that would equal out the number of people on the Rules Committee, make it even, leave the chairperson Republican, ranking member Democrat, but that would, give be, that would be enough. You would, the Republicans would give up a seat on that Rules Committee in order to table it for 48 hours to try to get a deal together to save Kevin McCarthy. Am, am I correct? It was the rules package in total, Brian. So basically it was rank and file member empowerment, um, encouraging, written in a way to encourage more bipartisan bills to come to the floor because we couldn't even get past the rules That's vote what the rules committee does. Number. Right. They, but the rules package is what you vote on on the first day of Congress. It sets the stage for how the floor is going to operate. So the rules committee functions under the, the rules package. So that's what we're going to revisit. You cannot rewrite that, particularly in a transformative way right. in eight hours. We just couldn't do it. So all we were asking for was time, and that time was not afforded to us, right. sadly. Keem Jeffries played the uh, Face the Nation clip, and then the whole caucus <clears throat> said we're leaving Kevin McCarthy out. So now, yesterday, President Trump endorsed Jim Jordan. Will you? And what does that mean? Well, I met with Jim last night. I will say, uh, Brian, I get along with literally all my colleagues. Um, there's no hard feelings, even though, uh, in, with, amongst any of us, even though a lot of us have very different views. I met with, uh, with Jim yesterday. Uh, we've always had a solid relationship. He's a, he's a friend. Uh, Going to be talking to, uh, to Leader Scalise today. Uh, and Kevin Hearn is thinking about throwing his hat in the ring. We, what we do, Brian, is we meet with these uh, members uh, uh, as groups. So the, the okay. Main Street, Republican Main Street group, the Tuesday group, Problem Solvers, we're going to do forums and allow them to present. And our members have questions, right. namely the, the motion to vacate, vacate, Brian. We want to make sure that that is fixed because we cannot perpetuate this problem that we saw last week. Yeah, it's bad for the country. And lastly, you do not, as, there's so many quality candidates, you don't see 218 happening easily which makes you think that there might be a place for Kevin McCarthy to slide back in? Well, we're, all options are on the table right now. Um, if any of the candidates can't get there, I mean, look how hard it was for Kevin to get there. And Kevin has been the leader of this party, uh, undisputed leader of this party, since the day I got here. Um, and he, he did a tremendous job holding the conference together, uh, was tremendous in all facets of the job. 
Um, so it's unclear, particularly after some, so many scorned feelings from last week, whether uh, anybody can get to 218. We'll see if that happens. If it doesn't, don't be surprised if you see calls just like that for, uh, for Kevin to reemerge. Um, why not? Uh, uh, more unexpected. Congressman uh, Brian Fitzpatrick, just trying to make Congress work. Thanks so much. You bet. Thanks, Brian. We reached out to my, the minority leader's office for a statement on the deal that would have saved Kevin McCarthy, but did not receive a response. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.